Welcome. Welcome. Five. Welcome. Four. Three. Two. One. Stimulate your senses. How it feels to chew five gum. <laughs> Imagine me just strangling it. <laughs> That's going in the potty. Yeah. Welcome. Uh, welcome back. What? This is PNC lads here. It's episode 59. It's actually a celebratory day for you guys. It is. And for us. Well, for everyone. Everyone involved in the PNC Yeah, but it's community. not the day for us right now. It's the, it's Tuesday for them, you know? They should be getting excited. It's the day before. It's like Christmas Eve. But for say. us, but for us, it's Friday. So we're still a little ways out. Yeah, it's like Christmas Eve. Um, Are you no, even in the frame? I, uh, hey? Are you in the frame? Yeah, it's just because I'm wearing a black yeah, hoodie. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Melts in, melts in. Melts in, blends in. Blends in with the, with the black couch. Um, Racist. But yeah, down. we, what's it called? I messaged you yesterday and I said... Book a date, bang. I said, let's post the photo today. Yes. Let's post the photo of <coughs> you and I. And um, and what's... Oh, I just realised we should have got Lydia into the fucking behind the scenes video. Who oh, the fuck is Lydia? The beautiful lady at the post office that we'll speak about. Linda. Linda. Fuck. Fucking Lydia. Linda. Yeah, Linda. Um, yeah. I'm thinking, fuck. Lydia. We bu- That's Cynthia, but Lydia. You butchered that. I've butchered it too. Uh, but no, I messaged you yesterday. I said, let's post it, son. Let's reveal these bastards. They've been, it's been a long time coming. Boomed, bro. Boomed. Fucking boomed. 3,000 story views. People are, really? <laughs> oh, wow. Anna, Anna Paul being one of them. Yep. She still won't come on the show. Yeah, everyone DM <laughs> Anna Paul saying, go on PNC, lads. We'll yeah. get her. Yeah, she didn't respond. Our DM was probably just down the list a little bit. So um, when she's back in Australia, we'll keep... Uh, just, hey, Anna, come on. Yeah, Anna. We'll fly anywhere in Australia. Anywhere in the world, I'll fly. Anywhere in the world to I'll, get her on the potty. I'll That'd be a fl- great show. I'll fly to LA for like a week yeah. just to get her on the potty. She obviously somewhat likes the content if she follows. Well, she loves it, but so. she's a big fan of the show, man. She is a big fan of the show. She's she has to have watched an episode to have followed us, or at least a TikTok. It, it, it would be a TikTok. She's big on TikTok. Yeah. So are we. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, she's not pink. No, I'm not going to say <laughs> that. I'm not going to say that. But yeah, okay, so the date. As of right now, you're watching tomorrow. Go on our Instagram. Unless something is drastic, has gone drastically wrong, these will be releasing around 5, 6 p.m. West Australian Standard Time. Tomorrow, we will be live on Instagram and TikTok. Yep. Um, I reckon we'll do it. So, like, my phone's up, your yeah, phone's up. Yeah. One's on TikTok, one's on Instagram, which is called bananas. And, yeah, anyone who posts on the story will repost it. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, hopefully within two weeks, we'll be able to get them out to you guys. Yeah. No, but it's it's very exciting. Do we know the date when we first, like... Begun? So, we got the, we got the actual design... Ages ago. Oh, fucking months ago, yeah. When was the actual design, bro? Oh, fucking ages. Like, so long February ago. February, probably. And then the initial, the process was just so thorough in terms of what we had to go through. Yeah, it was, it was, yeah, it was fucked. A lot of it was like, just hurry up and wait. Like, you, yeah. you can only make, you, like, we've learned a lot of things. We have. Like, this one's probably taken like a three month, geez, probably three months, like, from the time of actually deciding to start maybe even longer because we got the original samples and they were shit yeah and then it was like we fucking wasted money there wasted money there tried new things tried these this brand got these hoodies they were good then you had to order more then it was embroidery they fucked it up waited two weeks for them (laughs) to fix their issue yeah then they came and then finally good we've had them here for about a month since we picked them up about three weeks yeah yeah I'd say only like two three weeks well we were waiting to film promo yeah but um, videographer was on busy, ho- yeah, on holiday, on holiday as well. or something. So, so that's you know, it's it's been a massive, massive learning curve for the first one, and um, I was getting quite anxious because you know, I get a message here and there. Did I miss the merch drop? Yeah, I know. Did I miss it? Like, has it happened? When's it happening? And I'm just panicking. Just started to panic a little bit. I was like, fuck, people getting a little bit, you know. Well, just with how many we're selling, I, I was more like we're going to Queensland. I mean that that's. I would say like that's honestly half the reason as to why we've just been like fuck it, let's just send like sell them because mm-hmm. like we're trying to use some of those funds to fund like the the fund content more trip stuff. Like we said, this we is the only cent. way. This is the only way we make money if you guys buy them. So if you can support your boys, yeah, I'm I'm promising you that it's elite quality. Yeah, we. I was at the barbers today and I um. 
I was wearing the hoodie and Mo, shout out Mo, I, I walked in and um, they obviously take it off. They put it on the coat rack. Yeah. I gave him the hoodie and he, he was like, fuck, that's like, that feels like hell good quality, bro. Like, yeah. that's some heavy shit. He was like, make sure you save me one of them. I'm just looking right now. The blue looks exquisite, mate. Oh, mate. It, pops. it looks fucking amazing, like, son. Oh, we've had these for three weeks. I haven't taken it off. Like, mm. I go out, I'm wearing it. I There's go to no the gym, other I'm wearing it. To wear, is there? No, well, my other hoodie, and you know how good that one is. Yeah. I just don't, like, I'm just like, it's doesn't not. doesn't compare. No, that, like, they're basically, they, the quality of the build feels the same. Yeah. But, like, why would I wear that over? our own put it this way we wasted x amount of money on other hoodies that we weren't happy with even profitability yeah these are barely profitable yeah it's true we're not making we're not making money. a lot of money bro no. just because of like how expensive the these build are is make. like even deciding to get the embroidery rather than like a um, shitty screen print like this embroidery like when the hoodie deteriorates in fucking five years time this embroidery will still be perfect Eighteen thousand stitch count the embroidery twenty one and a half thousand, bro. Oh, really? The embroidery company literally said that is an amazing design. One, two. As a result, we are unsure if we can do this for you. Yeah, they were. That, it was basically on the borderline of like max stitch count. Like, yeah. Um, um, so we went there and they were like, hit us back up, and they're like, yeah, we can do this. We're so happy to do this. We're so excited to do this. Yeah, because they get a lot of generic shit there. I reckon. Well, a lot of so. It, with hoodies, like things we've learned, like you've got a, a GSM rating, which is your, um, basically the higher the GSM rating, the heavier the hoodie. Yeah. So it's basically a weight per something. Um, the So these hoodies, if you Google right now, if you Google what is a good GSM rating for a hoodie, it'll tell you. I think it's between 250 and like 400. And these are sitting at about 425. Yeah. Which is like, which just means like it's super heavyweight, it's mm -hmm. super heavy and it's super warm. Yeah. Um, so like, I mean. It, it fit, by the way, it fits true to size on, and if anything, it's on the slightly bigger end. Yeah. Like I'd we, say. I can get away with extra large. This is a large and as you can see, like the shoulder part is just off the, off my shoulders. Yeah. So like. So go your normal size or. If you don't want it to be a bit baggy, yeah, then go like a size smaller probably. Yeah, but I, I wouldn't fuck with the sizing too much. I'd no. basically just go with what you usually get. If yeah. you get like large hoodies, like that'll be fine. They're in men's sizing too. Men's sizing, yeah. So, or, yeah, I think so. We'll leave that up to you. We're also like tomorrow, we're doing a photo shoot and that's another thing. So we're trying to get like a photo shoot done for the models so we can get them on the website and the Instagram as well. Um, and it, it's obviously winter right now in Australia. Yeah, yeah I mean, the weather's fucked. Um, so it's fucked. So trying to find like a couple hours in a day where it's not bucketing down with rain. And we still don't even, we're going to have to compromise tomorrow. Is pretty tough. So that's tomorrow. We'll be in the city. Shout out Ish. He's done a lot of work with uh, another Perth brand privacy. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm... I'm actually very excited to get that done. Get that on the website. The website is pncladds.com. Yes. Just for reference. Um, sure. It'll be every, it'll be in our buyer. It'll, oh, yeah. It'll be, in it'll be everywhere. Individuals, our buyers. You, you're going to get spammed by it. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a pretty surreal couple of days. It's going to be fucking a bit ang like anxiety, bro. Oh, yeah. Because like, I don't want things to go wrong. Like I don't want a website to crash. Yeah. Because that's a fuck fest, bro. But for future, for future reference... Oh, for the future... I'm going to apologize. Uh, apologize? I'm going to say thank you in advance for your support and for buying well, our hoodies. Well, you'll see us on live. You'll see us on live, but I'm going to say it now. I'm going to say thank you for buying our hoodies. Um, if you, I hope you got one. I, uh, like, I'm, if, you, if you're watching this right now and you think, oh, I'll cop one on Thursday. Yeah, it's or, true, yeah. Uh, I'm <laughs> telling you, uh, personally, like I might be wrong and we might not even sell out, but personally, we were originally going to do like way more than what we're doing. Yeah. We decided not to just to be safe. Yeah. And also price. And up up front upfront cost too. Yeah. But uh but that, that comes into the safe thing. Yeah. Um but like I reckon we can absolutely fucking smoke through these. I think so. The feedback's been great. Just our friends and family, bro. Yeah. Who are getting first access. Yeah. Obviously. So be very quick. Um we've done it on a pretty good day, hump day. That's when, you know Most people have been paid or most getting paid. Most people have been paid. 
Um, just know you are getting your money's worth, and that's a that's a fact. Yeah, if you, you're not you're not getting you're not getting stinge. I guarantee you're go- going to be very happy with your purchase. I said to you in the gym today. I said like I'm I'm excited for people to get them. Yeah, and I'm not nervous at all about people being angry. Like no. oh why is it shit like nah like I'm pr- like I haven't I- I've worn mine every single day for three weeks. Probably washed it four or five times, and that fucker is still elite. Put it this way. Us two, we like our fashion. We like to look good. We like to be presentable. Yeah. I've bought from brands in the past, brands slash companies in the past, where I've bought one product, their first product, my first purchase from their brand slash company, and I've been extremely disappointed. Give us a shot. I've been extremely disappointed. And from that point on, I have not done business with them ever again. Yeah. So, going into our pro- project, our venture... That was in the back of my mind. That was a, not the back, the front. It's marketing 101, And bro. that's why this has been done 100% perfectly. But I literally learned it first year in, in uni. Yeah. Like in my marketing course. You get, you get one shot, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You get one first impression. It's no different to dating. It's no different to anything in life. Yep. Like most people, particularly Australians, are very, very supportive and... Um, open to giving people first chances like I'll try something once yeah. but if it's shit I'll never ever go there again mm-hmm. you learn that straight off the rip so yeah. like I can promise you like I mean give us a shot because I promise you you won't be upset yeah uh, we'll leave it there because we've yeah, 10 we've, minutes of promo yeah we've plugged um, but yeah just thank you we're, we're passionate so of course yeah um, we just want you guys to like it yeah. And the design's good. I love it. Um, but in terms of a week, mate, I've literally... I came here today and I submitted my last assignment. It's been a misery Thank of a fuck. week. <laughs> Thank fuck for that. I'm gassed to have finished uni for this semester, mate. I'm pretty gassed. We're going on holiday soon, bro. Going on holiday very soon. Um, by the time we come back, uni will be back. Yeah, that's <laughs> that. that. Um, but no, as soon as we, you know, get these out, booking the flights, a lot of people have uh, sent us, you know, go there, go there. There's a bar in... In Gold Coast or a club. I Co- want to play there. Cocktails. Cocktails. I want to play there. Do your little pitch to cocktails right now, mate. And to anyone who can potentially if help you If you have out. connections, send this to cocktails. Clip it. Yeah. Clip it. Um, Say your name. I feel like a bit of a loser here. <laughs> NPC. State your name well, and occupation. Uh, actually, I don't want to pitch because co- my pitch is going to be different. I want PNC lads to be like the pitch to them. But not just, just me. Just say something. Um, oh, someone's home. No. But cocktails, let um we're gonna have to go to a cook cup. My parents are coming home. But um cocktails nightclub in Gold Coast. I think it's Gold Coast. I wanna play there. I can play any genre of music, preferably house. I'm pretty sure you guys play house, but if you guys like house, I'm fucking elite. We have a lot of fans. I hate to call you guys fans, but we have a lot of fans that live out that way. Put it this way as well, Misfit Minds. I know you've heard of them. They'll fucking be launching there as yeah, well. They'll with be with us. us. Like um, we'll bring we'll bring the band we'll bring the fucking people yeah we'll bring the fucking vibes sales will be through the roof boys Ain't yeah I'm telling you you guys won't be let down let me play there I want to play there you won't all right on that note cut yeah we're gonna have to cut because fucking I mean it's not even there really their fault it's fucking five thirty <laughs> <laughs> cut cut but yeah cut I'm back in my prime bitch oh well fuck it let's just keep going. Uh, well, you're in frame, right? Yeah. We are back. Like, our, like we were saying, cocktails. I mean, we may as well address the cut. When I'm, people, I would rather people just know there was a cut rather than fluent. We said cut before. Yeah, but we just can't just go back in. We can be that. Okay, we're, we're back from a cut. Yeah, my, uh, <laughs> my mother came home from work. Yeah. And the dog is barking and shit, so. Yeah, we're back. Anyway, we were speaking about... You... Sh- you Go Google up, typed in the Cocktails website and they've got like a virtual tour it's really that you good. can take. It's like a really nice club. I don't know if many other clubs do this, but if they don't, you definitely should, especially if you've got a beautiful, you know, location to show off because this was amazing. I was looking at a few of the suggestions from people too. Bro, you know what they have in some of these clubs in Gold Coast and Melbourne? What's that? It's just balls? readjusted. No one, no one judge me. My balls were sticking to my leg. Um, they have like club packages so you pay like 200 bucks or something it's basically it's like a vip for for the season type thing for the season yeah for like the night like for say summer 
And um, it just like gives you like VIP access to the club for the whole of summer. It's like we could go to Metro's, mm. pay like 200 bucks and it like you don't pay entry for the rest of the year. Like it's free entry, free skip line. So you'd have to go to Metro's like 10 times to get your money's worth. Yeah, like discount drinks. I don't know what the prices are, but like all, like so I'd many of the clubs. I'd never do it for Metro's, but yeah. no. Nah, so if, many of the clubs had them. If cocktails, like when we put, when you put that story out, Cocktails was literally spammed. Everyone. Cocktails, I, cocktails, I said, cocktails, cocktails. I didn't know if it was Melbourne or Gold Coast. No, uh, Gold um, Coast. But then, you know, Gail said, a few people have said Gold Coast clubs suck, but this one, this one looks like it doesn't suck, mate. No, well, yeah, see, here's the thing. I feel like... Oh, dog. Yeah, yeah, Clubbing is so subjective. She 100% wants to come inside. Clubbing subjective. Like, um, for example, like... Oh, not really Perth. But say someone might have had a bad experience at, at cocktails, for example, and been like, nah, cocktails is dog shit. So I can they, shit on Rapture. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, nah, it's, it's an average club. Yeah, true. But it gets the job done for $5 drinks. It does. Perfect but, place to have praise. Yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, like clubbing so subjective. So some people love it. Some people hate it. Because all, it's same, same as music, right? And Anyway, what were you saying? Um, <laughs> clubbing is subjective. Well, I would have had to cut that because I can't be saying that stuff. But... um. Yeah, like well, clubbing is basically music. Music is what makes a club. Like it's the type of vibe. And if yeah. you don't, if for example, if cocktails is a, is a house music club, and you're a fan of hip hop and you hate house music, you're probably not going to go. Probably there, not going to enjoy it. Yeah. So like, you're going to message me and be like, it's shit. But your music taste isn't the same as mine. So like, of course you're going to think it's shit. I might have the best time of my life. It's also accessibility to drinks as well. That's yeah, a massive thing. You got to have big staff numbers, mate. Yeah, gotta have high staff now. That place looked really classy though, and I was a big fan. It did. Uh, they had a pool table there, bro. Surely there's been Two. an instance where there's been a fight and some kind of just started chucking pool. Well, it's pool like rap balls or like cute. Oh, that's true. Hmm. That's true. I mean, yeah, fair, not, their pool tables point. were a lot nicer. Oh, these, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon you could find a better fucking pool table. Someone let us know. Is cocktails new? It looks really like it looks like a brand new club. It looks quite done up. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be in Gold Coast for seven days. Melbourne for four. We're not trying to do super tu- super touristy things, but also we kind of are. Yeah, like are we going to go to Movie World on a Tuesday? Because why not, you know? I mean, I didn't even really think about the theme well, parks. We got, we got all these other, but we've got to film vlogs and shit. We do. Um, I guess we'll see. I guess we will see. Yeah. It heavily depends on the weather as well. Yeah, well, that's a if it's a catch If it's a Tuesday, we're like, oh, what should we do today? Let's go to Movie World. True. True. Um, yeah, so in the comments, let us fucking know because um, we don't have long. And if you can show us the cool spots too, like, I mean, I was like, I, mean, I was going to say cliff jumping, but it's middle of winter, but I'll, I'll jump. I'll cliff jump. Yeah. Show me a cliff jump. Wait, oh, you want a cliff jump? Yeah, I'll do it. Why not? Fucking hell, can't. I, I do you mean like bungee jump? No, like cliff jump, like what? into water. Oh, no, fuck that, can't. But like, yeah, if you, like things like that. I want to know like the cool little spots of like the secret spots that aren't mainstream that only you locals would know about i want to know like cool little like little shops bro like is there a little boutique vintage shop that is hidden in a corner i want to go mm. to that you know mm. so let us know things like that not just like oh yeah movie world or yeah, yeah don't give us this i mean do give us the standards but give us the cool other u- unique options to do as well something that only the locals would know yeah i mean i haven't been to goldie since i was fucking eight mate so it's going to be a i haven't been anywhere in australia bar melbourne for the ski tour, which was still like we were there for a day, two days. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I when mean, you were of age type of thing. Yeah, we weren't even eighteen, so it's a completely different experience, and um, one I'm very excited for. Got to try thinking, and get one of our mates on board as well. And, I'm thinking uh, of like going to the casino and shit, and just putting like a hundred oh. bucks on black, and then if I win, you know, have a pretty wild night. I stayed at Crown in Melbourne when I was like twelve, bro. Yeah. Um, and I, it's got to be nicer than the one in Perth. Maybe we should DM Crown, hook us up with a room. Hook us up with, imagine we somehow got the penthouse for like the night. <laughs> like that penthouse is just fucking overlooking the pool. This and podcast everything. is brought to you by a cramp. No. Could you, mate, I, could you imagine? I'd 100% do that. What the fuck? Oh, it's so would I, mate. It's actually a really nice area. If you can afford it, it kind of feels like you're away from Perth when you go to Crown. Like the oh, Crown, even here, Crown yeah. Towers. Yeah, even here. Yeah. 
Like, I've had a bougie experience there with my cousin's fucking rich friends and it's fucking amazing, bro. But yeah. no cunt can afford it, bro. Like, if someone's got a, someone's got like a boat, like a big yacht, Ooh. like, let's fucking run it up on a yacht, bro. I'll, we'll hire out some DJ gear, run up a little party. <laughs> yeah, we also, someone also asked, House will parties? we be taking a break for the podcast? We might try and find a studio or something. Maybe. I, I, per, my, my personal feeling towards it, unless we're collaborating with a creator like Misfit or something, yeah. then I would imagine we'll probably just miss a week because it'll only be one day, one week off. Yeah, it's just one week and in that one week, you'll get like a vlog instead. Well, probably f- f- several, but like the, so, the, yeah. the podcast when we get back will just be so good because it'll be out of like, it'll be like the recap of that. Yeah. I plenty, like people would love that. Plenty of stories to tell um, and I'm very excited about it, yeah. Was, there, any, was, was there anything that you uh, did that was out of the blue this weekend or no? Oh, bro, I can't even remember the weekend. It's been fun. Oh, the, the week, sorry, just in general? I've had two exams this week, bro. One on Tuesday, one on Thursday. Yeah, Lee got, left, so love you, Lee. Yeah, he appreciated that. Got him the send-off. We got him cutting, cutting a single fin. Yeah. Um, what Drink, was cra- crack a single fin right now, Lee. Yeah, crack one. He rocked up. The day I, the last day I worked, it was like 9 a.m. He was a bit scruffy and I was convinced he'd like cracked open a few too many the night before. Uh, but he, he was it. like, he was like, nah, boys, just, just fancy the sleeping, to be honest. He's just I was give, like, he's yeah, up, mate. Fucking good, Fair enough, too. Good for you, mate. Fucking on the way out. Why not? Um, but no, nah, yeah, Lee, mate, I see you at the footy at some stage. We'll crack a beer and uh, we'll catch up. But no, Maybe I watched. We'll, uh, we'll do a video one day. It'll be like giving, get, giving our old boss 10 grand. Yeah. Yeah, I would love that. Lee, honestly. look forward to that, mate. When we're rich, that would fucking that would make my I'd make my day, mate. I think it'd mean more to me than him. Oh, <laughs> I, we've always said it, so yeah, can't um, give away too much, Lee. In terms of a uh, good uh, good movie suggestion, I don't know if a lot of people have seen this. They would have. It's a big one, but Come on, I watched Shada Island. Sh- Shada is that what I? How did I say it? Like Shada. Shada. Like, I not? watched uh, Shada. Shada Island. Um, for the first time, and it was brilliant, mate. There's something about Leonardo DiCaprio where you just love him, and even if he's he could be a fully blatant, pure psychopath murderer, and I'd still be like, oh, poor Leo. You know, this, this, this what you're saying right now. It's like a big Zac Efron when is he's like a kid thing. who's like three years old who like has finally discovered like I don't know chocolate mud cake. And he's like, mud cake is so good. But everyone knows that. Mm. But you've just finally like realized it. Yeah. But there will be some people who are watching the show who haven't seen it. Yeah, of course. And um, but because my stance on movies, you're you're different to me, where you love a movie and you can watch a movie. You've been doing it for the past fucking months or so, mate. You were bulking bulking all the Avengers one every day. And now I'm, you're doing the Star Wars. I'm pretty bad at at being able to just watch the movie though. Like I'm always like on my phone. Like I yeah, find okay. so often, bro, I'm on my phone and then I'm like, oh, what did I miss? Yeah. Rewind five minutes so I can fucking recall. I'm like, oh, okay. That's why he's there. Shutter Island did something to me. It sort of said, mate, you need to give some more movies a go, one. And two, just give movies in general a go instead of watching your 20 minute little shows here and there to pass, not to pass time, just to relax with. Because that was a masterpiece. Yeah, it's a ma- yeah. I mean, there's Leo, Leo's been a part of quite a few masterpiece movies. Um, Inception, yeah, incredible. That, they had Mark. I think it's Mark Ruffalo in it. Um, the Hulk, yeah. kind, kind of yeah. played the Hulk. And um, oh, mate, the last the last scene in that movie, it did something to me, mate. Uh, when I sat on the fucking doorstep, yeah, I mean, we don't, don't ruin it. For people. I won't spoil it. But when he just like, he just waited for Leo to make up his mind. And I was like, oh, fuck, fuck. Yeah, when you, when, when you realise, when, when you have the realisation of the plot, yeah, that's when you're like, whoa. It's the yeah. same thing with Inception. Like at the end when, I mean, if you haven't seen Inception, they like spin, the, spin the thing. Yeah. And right at the end, it, it, they don't quite show it stopping. Mm. When you, you're like, that, that forever lives rent free in my head of like, yeah. is it this or is it that because of that spinning means something, but you never see if it stops or if it keeps going. You know what though? People are always looking for that little bit more. They're always looking for a well, little bit more, whether it's an ending to a movie or one more season of a TV series. People are always looking for it from their favorite shows or movies. But when, it, when those are given, 
It turns out to ruin it, bro. Yeah. When they end stuff good, like sometimes you can appreciate a good ending. When you're angry that the movie's ended, that's a good that's a good thing. You're it's not you don't see it as a good thing, but it's a good thing. Nah, but I would have wanted I wanted I wanted to know an ending. Yeah, but like, what even, if they sh- what if the ending was shite though? No, because all they had to do was show an extra two seconds. Are you saying off of thing? For like Inception. Yeah, but that's the beauty of it, man. No, it's not. It's the beauty of it's, it. I don't like the unknown. It's the same like even all the reporters and shit, like when he when the movie came out, they asked him. The producer, director, are like, oh, um, so do, like at the end, we don't know. So they actually asked, or oh, is, um, is does the dream? thing stop or does it yeah. keep going? And he even said, he's like, I don't know. Yeah, well, he's never going to say, is he? No, he literally said like, I, I don't know. I didn't think about it. Yeah. Well, he, obviously, he obviously did kind of, but like, but that's the beauty he's of like, it. He's like, why does it matter? He gets everyone talking about it. Well, he gets that, everyone talking about his film. It's good. That movie was incredible though. It's like, good. I need to watch it again. Actually, it's on Netflix, so go it watch is it. on Netflix. I should watch that while we um. Prisoners, we're another good movie for you. Who? Prisoners. Prisoners. Mm. I good mean, film. the title sort of speaks for itself, or does it not? Is it completely different? No, it's different to what you think. Can you give us a little um a plot to it? Yeah. A plot to it. Uh, I hate when people ask me. So, this. family, girl gets kidnapped by a like pedophile. And then um, Sounds like Taken, bro. the dad's trying to find Sounds the pedophile. Like, this is exactly like Taken, surely. Nah, because there's way more like plot twists. If you hurt my daughter. Like Taken's just like, all right, well, I know who's taking you. I'm going to fucking find you and kill you. Like he's more like, I don't know what's going on. Like he thinks he's got the right people. He's like borderline, like torturing cunts of wrong people. Like it's pretty quick, pretty hectic. Okay. Well, it's like um, there's a lot of show- movies that I've turned up. Just put, give it in the fucking don't argue, mate. Yeah. Like this John Wick series. Ah, uh, but yeah, see, the first John Wick was incredible. But I, I got bored of it, bro. Yeah. Because, bro, you know, the start is kind of boring. What? There's barely any speaking in it. Bruv, the, the start is the entire storyline. Yeah, but it's kind of, I kind of find it boring, bro. What do you mean? If you have seen. He's, he's very, he's a loner. He's a loner. His wife died. He got a dog instead. Yeah, so the dog represents his wife. And then so, yeah. some guy's gone beat and kill his dog. They've killed the dog. They've broken into his house. And then he starts training. Like, no, he's he doesn't like, train. Yeah, he's like in the gym boxing. And then he gets like guns. He's starting to like shoot shit to well, practice. He- and in that whole time, there's barely a single word said. Yeah. Agree? Yeah, but it's, that's the point. He does a man, he's a man of few words the entire show. I know. So when he does speak, a bit of dialogue, powerful. son. <laughs> that's the whole point. Look, I tried to watch it. I I do need to give it another go, but action movies have never really been my thing because they're all so similar to me. I mean, yeah, it's all like the doof doof doof, the sound effects the of doof, you punching, <laughs> of you punching someone. No, the for guns, sure. Act, the an actions. action movie to be incredible has to be incredible. It needs to be like it needs to be something to it. Like, what's an incredible action movie I've seen? Like maybe the original Die Hards. Like they were incredible for their time. I can't stand them, bro. My mum and dad watch them all the time. I'm just like... They're on TV fucking every two weeks. That's what I'm saying, bro. Anyway, I feel like we should move away from movies. People are like, fuck up cunts. Like I don't care about movies. Um, Well, we can do a bit of PNC therapy. People didn't like the name. Fuck ya. We're going to do it anyway. Give me (laughs) a girl's name. Um, Sophie. Okay. Such a hot name. That's my cat's name. You do like a bit of pussy though. (laughs) (laughs) That's a shitty joke I know (laughs) Right Sophie Hey boys I need some advice So I've been seeing this guy For a while Since February At the start (laughs) I'm just gonna start again Just in case This is a TikTok (coughs) Should I um, uh, Should I clear the throat I'm fucking cutting I'm using this part In the video You won't even have a choice (laughs) Yeah this isn't The main podcast But you know, this is what you get if you've watched the show. No, I'm a cut out. Rawness. So like this part that you're about to say now. Fuck up. I'm going to cut it, bro. <laughs> you, you can't make it good for you. Hey, TikTok. boys, I need some advice. So I've been seeing this guy for a while since February. <clears throat> At the start, it was just sex. But recently, it's got a bit more serious where he's told me he's not getting with anyone else. However, he's told me he doesn't want a relationship. So I told him the same because I thought I didn't either. Nah. Turns out I'm lying to myself. And wouldn't mind one with him. Saying this, I'm scared of catching feels, so I've still been active on Tinder and getting with guys at the club. I'm nervous of him to find out because I want him to change his mind about a relationship. What should I do? That's just a big old game, isn't it? Dude, I, 
<laughs> I've had this conversation with one of my good mates <laughs> this week. I'm on the weekend, actually. About, like, the playing the game. Yeah. Because, we're, I mean, I was just telling you about it before. Like, playing the game works if you're trying to get a root. Yeah. Like, if you're trying to have a one-night stand and you're trying to fuck this hot chick or vice versa, playing the game works like a fucking, like, no tomorrow. Yeah. But if you're trying to have a relationship with someone, you can't play the game. No. Because the games continue into the relationship. Mm-hmm. Like if you, <laughs> is that like a voice crack? I don't know what that was, to um, be honest. But no, you, like you ask what you should do. Well, firstly, maybe just say, hey. Be up front with the Just bloke. be like, hey, uh, I want a relationship with you. Um, I was, I, at first I thought I didn't want a relationship, but I've started to catch feelings. Yeah. I'm, ne- I'm going to need to distance myself from you if you don't feel the same. We can't keep sleeping together if you don't feel the same way. Because yeah. I'll, I'll end up getting way too deep in my feelings. Yeah. That is a lot of... Um you know, maturity that you've just said there, which I'm not sure this person has just yet based off of their current actions. I'm not actions. sure I would have the same actions. Exactly right. It's a lot easier said than done from, you know, from the side. Well, because obviously she she would want to keep having sex with him. She's not having... Oh, is she? Yeah, she said they were like sleeping together. And my friends oh, yeah, true. But I don't know if they are anymore. Yeah, well, you I think they so. are still fucking? Yeah, 100%. Maybe just keep fucking him and he'll eventually... You know, no, who don't, 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 catch feelings don't do that because then you'll get worse feelings. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst advice ever. Yeah, I mean, but it could work. It could work. <laughs> I mean, it could work. I mean, but you'll just fall even more madly in love with him, unfortunately. Yeah, but see, this is Especially why it's easier said than done. Especially if he's got a chopper on him. <laughs> <laughs> well, because she's not going to want to stop sleeping. She's not going to say like, oh, I need to distance myself from you because she's just in the back of her head. She's like, I'll change him. I'll, I'll yeah, make him up. Don't me. ever expect that you can change someone. Because it's very, very rare that you can. And don't assume shit too. Never assume. Just fucking be upfront, ask, and like you're not doing anything wrong. If he finds out that you're sleeping with people from the club, oh well. Chances are he's probably doing the same. Unfortunately, you're not dating. He he'll, he'll probably still be cut up. Even Keep if he your is. options open. Put it that way. And maybe if he does find out, he'll be like, "Look, maybe I was wrong." Or maybe he'll be spiteful and fuck other people in front of you. You know, it's just <laughs> just be upfront. Just be upfront. That's the. That's What's the, the worst that's going to happen? I'll let your mind play with that one because it could end bad. <laughs> good luck, so if you put it that way. Um, you said that this was a good voice message, so we'll I actually play can't this remember one. it, but yeah, if I replied to it, it'd be good. You said love it, yeah, with an exclamation mark. So let's play this one. What's his name? I don't fucking know. Well, give me John one. Biggs. I used it in my exam twice. John Biggs. Oi, lad. So I got a quick one. Yeah, uh, fucking town hookups, right? Have you ever had a town hookup that was, like, so fucking good or ever seen, like, a girl, um, like, at town that, like, you were talking to, rah, 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 um, and then, like, the next few days at work, you've been, like, actually thinking about, like, that person, and you're like, fuck, like, uh, town hookups, um, and, and, and the feelings afterwards, uh, get into about that. Okay, so basically... Town hookup, is he just talking about... But like if you go to the city. Oh, but I'm okay. assuming they're like, oh, let's head into the town. But basically he's saying like, if you hook up with a burb, like a one night stand, mm. and it's just fucking like, the sex is like wild, incredible, and you're just like, holy fuck. Mm. And you almost get like, sex feelings, bro. It's not even like... Yeah, I know what you're saying. I think everyone, to talk everyone in this world... You ever had a, you ever had a hookup like that? Well, the sex is like holy fuck! Like this chick sucked the fucking dick off. Of course, me, like, yeah. And you're like, oh my god, I want to marry yeah, this chick. It, oh no, um, no, but, but like obviously not. Yeah, man, but you are like, like, oh yeah, I'd want to do that like, again. You're like, fuck, man, like, like that I was, was crazy. thinking about this chick. Like, I want to fuck. Yeah, her. I mean, man, I do. I daydream a lot. <laughs> I daydream a lot, and you're thinking about those things. Bro, we, we literally reminisced actually two weeks ago. Remember when we said Jared wandered off? And he got yeah, lost. Yeah. And I was saying like that, that the chick I kissed that night was yeah. like something different. I never yeah. even got to go home with her because of Jared. But Yeah, um, and same for me with the other one. But yeah, bro, that, that kiss was... Oh, she would have done things to me, I reckon. Yeah. Real soft mouth, like yeah. soft tongue and shit. That's the criteria, soft mouth and soft tongue. Bro, soft tongue. On. <laughs> <laughs> was, is there such thing as a hard tongue? I, I suppose you know, like it's just the, bad technique if, no, at that point. Yeah, but like the grain... You know the white shit on tongues? Like Saliva? if you don't clean your tongue. Oh yeah, you gotta yeah, like, be cleaning your tongue. But also like the graininess of like a tongue, where it's like kind of rough rather than nice and soft. I wonder what people think about your tongue, seeing as that you bit through it at the age of four. Oh, they love it, bro. <laughs> That's a little indented. There. <laughs> it's Gets a little extra te- texture, mate. Fuck me. Um, no. So 
to answer your question, mate, yeah, there's definitely been times where you think of that one one time where you just felt something great and uh, you're like, fuck. I think it's beautiful. I could go with that, could go for that right now, especially on tough days at work. Oh, dude, we, just we like, actually say that all the time. You just you just want that stress reliever. Like a blowy at, at, blowy at lunch? Yeah. I need it, you know, like... It's like the... um. Take a load out, off. A blowy at lunch is like the equivalent to like the sleeping bags at uni or like the little um sleeping pods at Google. Yeah. It's that little reset that you need. Bro, it's just like a stress reliever. Like you're having a hard day and just imagine just getting the soul sucked out of your lunchtime. Oh, Bro, I'd come back a different man. I think ejaculating for a man is the equivalent to destroying a KFC feed. It's fucking fantastic at the time, but after, not you're not getting anything done. No, I reckon you would, eh? No, you're not getting anything done, Ev. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Because you've just had the absolute soul taken out of you, either through, you know... The, excre- the excretion of, uh, you know, bodily fluids yeah, or... Just in her mouth. Or just a fucking, you know, insane feed. Oh. After those two things, a man cannot function. Nah, well, I think in the short... I feel like with KFC, it's kind of a longer term. Or like a big feed is like a long term. I'm fucked for three hours. Okay, I'm sorry. You've just had the soul sucked out of you. I reckon I'll And be, you're just like... No, but I reckon I'll be fired back up 25 minutes, you know. It's what? So it's late at night and you're just like... No, nah, late at night is different to work, bro. I've never had it at work, but like if like a like a lunchtime route, mm. but I'll have a lunchtime route, but I'm ready to go, fired up. Not for the gym, but like I'm 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 ready to get things done, you know. Like oh, bro, this sounds so bad, but like with these exams, I've been like mm. I'll quickly just go whack one out mm. just to get focused, just take the stress out. I'm like, alright, I'm ready to go. I think Back. it's literally a zoned in a thing with um, yeah, bro. If your brain is going. On overdrive when you're trying to sleep. Mm. I think this is every guy. Oh, yeah. Literally. All right. Headphones in. Bish, bash, bosh. We'll have another crack at trying to fall asleep. Yeah. Always works. Yeah. The, you know what the worst is? If it gets messy and you go have a shower or something. It's, oh, it just makes it oh, rough. What are you doing there, son? Well, oh, sometimes it's big. You got to fucking, you know, protect oh. it. <laughs> Not the eye. Fuck me. I tell you how much, how much money we should do odds on. We should do odds on. See whoever loses has to get a blue light scanned on their room, bro. <laughs> yeah, all right. I wonder how much those fuckers cost. They're probably very expensive. They'd be a bit on my wall, I reckon. Yeah, but on the fucking. Have you got a bed head? N- no, oh, you don't not at the anymore. moment. I used to. You need to sort that out, mate. Bro, see, Look, roles are reversed, mate. Because of like. <laughs> you need a bed, mate. You like, f- yeah. you know, fingers, yeah, yeah, some yeah. fingers, and then like you like grab it on the wall. Sorry, but. but. Yeah, but <laughs> oh, yeah, I might have to take that out. Nah. Ah, Just say sorry. Fingering right. a lovely lady yep. who has utter respect for herself mm-hmm. and me. And you have respect for them. Yeah, I've, well, that's a given. I never don't have a respect for... I have respect for all women. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like, and then it's on your hand and you like put your hand on your wall and then you go on town or she does the same thing in doggy. Yeah, true. Hmm, so they'd be a little bit on my wall, I reckon. Maybe on my roof. Is there any fluid that pops up on a blue light or is it literally... Yeah, it's like any bodily fluid. Any... So it's just so bodily. So if I spill some Fanta on my sheets, is yeah, that going to pop no. up? It's not going to pop up. It's like sweat and shit too. Ah, okay. okay. I think it's like sweat. Like if you walk into a hotel and they do the blue light and you can see like the sweat patches on the bed. Well, I remember Me. Gordon Gordon Ramsay. I mean, his show Hotel Hell, I loved that show. It was so funny. Real good. He'd get his blue light out and he'd be like, I'm not fucking sleeping on that fucking bed. And you grab his sleeping bag. You know, off he we, goes to we sleep. should buy a blue light. Well, I reckon let's go, let's Google how much you reckon they cost. Ah, uh, we'll do it do it another time. We don't need to do it now. Well, it's literally gonna take three seconds. Hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. Maybe cheaper. Thirty bucks. Yeah, I can't find it. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I don't think. Yeah. Um, you know, one thing that's been catching the uh, catching a bit of traction, Shy Bolton's little action last night. Yeah, I, I wasn't a big fan, but like, I I wasn't a big fan of the action, but I think we need personality in the game. Yeah, hundred. It's like Ginevan, like. I don't like him, but like you need a bit of a cunt in the game. It's yeah. the same thing with like Shy Bolton. The only thing is like with that, with the like showing the ball, I'm just like, you know, you don't really need to do it. You're already a gun. Look, 20 minutes to go in the quarter as well. They almost, they, they probably should almost have lost. bottled it. They got a bullshit call with a touch uh, that was overturned and that was... was it, uh, it was probably touch though, no? Otherwise, they wouldn't have changed it. They, rev- it was, they reviewed it. They um, reviewed it very quickly. No, they reviewed it. Which was during the ad break, During the ad fair. break. Yeah. and um, Because they review every goal. Yeah. So, the actual umpire called it a goal. Yeah. And then the review, even like the... 
Colton coach yeah, was like, he sh- was like, oh, I would have thought it would have to be a bit more conclusive than that to uh, overturn something like that. Because yeah, his fingers moved, mm-hmm. but the ball was like, didn't the ball did not touch his fingers? Like looking at it, like the main people are saying like, oh, Richmond's new tactic, bending your fingers back, like when you put your hands up. Like obviously he didn't. <laughs> yeah, but, you're not doing that. Um, um, yeah, it was a bit. Anyway, though, you were still three points down, cunt. So you still might have lost. Maybe, but they had a lot of momentum. They kicked three in three minutes. You know, it's funny that. from the, from that kick out, they went and scored a goal pretty quickly. Richmond. Well, that's what, that's what I'm saying. So it would have been three points instead. It was fifteen. So I'm glad that Richmond got up. Um, yeah, for you boys, it's good. But I, yeah, look, I think it's a little bit, little bit suspect his action. But also, like you said, kind of don't mind it. And even some, yeah. I saw some Carlton fans saying, you know what, that action there is something that Carlton players are going to remember and can be like. That's that's like a motivator. Well, that I was hoping Richmond were going to lose after that, just because of the media mm. fallout would have been phenomenal. Been, bro, we, my dad said it. He's like, "Fuck! Imagine if these boys lose." Yeah, you like, can't be doing that. He would have got fucking shit on, bro. And they crumbled there for like five minutes. Bro, they kicked three and three minutes. Mackay kicked three and three minutes. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I was like, "What the fuck?" And then that snap, I was like, "Wow, they're going to win this game." And then it was touched. I was like, "Wow, that's cost them." Tom had Lynch for five goals. What did he kick for? Five. Kick three very early on. Oh, no, so went missing else. afterwards, yeah. How m- they wouldn't have even been paying that much. Uh, yeah, I was paying uh, 10 bucks, I think. Oh, that's not bad. Five goals, bro. Yeah. In the wet as well. Yeah, but five goals against a, a no defense Carlton. True. I would have uh, thought not better. Go the Eagles this weekend? Nah, we will lose, but I think we'll be better. We got a lot of ins. You think you'll be better? What's the what's the weather like? It's raining. It's, I mean, it's tomorrow. Photos pissing down all day. Yeah, okay. Pissing down all day. I'm going to back you in for... I think we'll lose by six goals. Six goals, you reckon? Yeah. Respectable. That's not not actually too bad. Yeah. Do you have anything else, mate? Because we're 40 minutes deep and um, really got nothing else to say. No, really. This week's been dead, so apologies. But Just a lot of behind-the-scenes things, you know, I saw as t- you're going to see. I saw a tweet yesterday from Mike saying, um, like, his week so far. Yeah. I'll read the tweet because I was like, this is just like, this is why, what we were talking about on Impulsive, where like they just talk about their life. Yeah. So he said, (laughs) fuck, he tweeted a lot today. (laughs) I've been in London for 24 hours and so far I've done an Impulsive with Gideon or Gideon. Gideon? Gideon? J-I-D-I-O-N, I I don't know, Gideon. Um, Done an Impulsive with the Sidemen, been offered ecstasy six times. Had a very, very strange threesome and watched a man with tits inject heroin into his cock on a stage. And no, the man with tits was not in the threesome. So that was in his 24 hours. Got offered ecstasy six times. Heroin injected into some man's cock. Threesome. Threesome. What was the Sidemen thing? Uh, impulsive with the Sidemen. Oh, impulsive with the Sidemen. Ooh, I wonder who's on there. Or is it all of them? Probably all of them, yeah. Well, bro, At least a few. The Sidemen podcasts, they actually look so good. On TikTok, cool. it looks good, the clips. It looks so good. No. Um, I've thought I, about listening. I reckon, I reckon there's actually great value in that Side Plus. Like, if you're a real big um, fan of Sidemen... Is that is that what it is on Side Plus? Yeah. I'm bro, not for it, bro. No, but that's what I'm saying. Like, if you're a Sidemen fan, you get great value from that. Because they just literally... Their whole career is... It's scheduled for them. Well, I, I'm Creating a Sidemen content fan, I just... Oh, not gosh. that. Not that. Not to that extent. Yeah, I'm not going to pay. I don't I'm pay not for buying Nelk full sand. Yeah. yeah. Um, still got that Xiaomi one though. Let's go Xiaomi. Let's go, son. Yeah, we do have Xiaomi's one. Well. Yeah, we get Xiaomi on the podcast in Goldie. <laughs> I think so. Manifest it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, that's next week will be 60. Episode 60. Wow. The the episodes just keep rolling by. They keep getting better, except for this one. I had COVID episode 50. Did ya? Fuck me. Yeah. There you go. Um, but anyway... A final sign off, pncluds.com. Yeah, yeah, plug. Turn on notification, post notifications on our YouTube channel. Comment on this video. Type on, uh, put on post notifications for our Instagram post. Literally everything. Run it up, please. And that's basically it because Serena's trying to come into your house. <laughs> My house, yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't mean we're done. But we're basically done. Oh, I was about to plug the, plug the stuff. Buy the merch. Yeah. That's basically... Oh, sorry. It's apparel. It's not merch. Yeah, apparel. Merch is cheap shit quality. This is apparel. Tune into our lives. We'll be live streaming tomorrow. (laughs) See you later.